Hi, I'm Maggie, and I'll be the other instructor for this course. In the first chapter, you learned about data frames, how to sort and subset them, and how to add new columns to them. In this chapter, we'll talk about aggregating data, starting with summary statistics. Summary statistics, as follows from their name, are numbers that summarize and tell you about your data set. One of the most common summary statistics for numeric data is the mean, which is one way of telling you where the center of your data is. You can calculate the mean of a column by selecting the column with square brackets and calling dot mean. There are lots of other summary statistics that you can compute on columns, like median and mode, minimum and maximum, and variance and standard deviation. You can also take sums and calculate quantiles. You can also get summary statistics for date columns. For example, we can find the oldest dog's date of birth by taking the minimum of the date of birth column. Similarly, we can take the maximum to see that the youngest dog was born in 2018. The aggregate, or ag method, allows you to compute custom summary statistics. Here, we create a function called PCT30 that computes the 30th percentile of a data frame column. Don't worry if this code doesn't make sense to you. Just know that the function takes in a column and spits out the column's 30th percentile. Now, we can subset the weight column and call .ag, passing in the name of our function, PCT30. It gives us the 30th percentile of the dog's weights. Ag can also be used on more than one column. By selecting the weight and height columns before calling ag, we get the 30th percentile for both columns. We can also use ag to get multiple summary statistics at once. Here's another function that computes the 40th percentile, called PCT40. We can pass a list of functions into ag, in this case, PCT30 and PCT40, which will return the 30th and 40th percentiles of the dog's weights. Pandas also has methods for computing cumulative statistics, for example, the cumulative sum. Calling cumsum on a column returns not just one number, but a number for each row of the data frame. The first number returned, or the number in the zeroth index, is the first dog's weight. The next number is the sum of the first and second dog's weights. The third number is the sum of the first, second, and third dog's weights, and so on. The last number is the sum of all the dog's weights. Pandas also has methods for other cumulative statistics, such as the cumulative maximum, cumulative minimum, and the cumulative product. These all return an entire column of a data frame, rather than a single number. In this chapter, you'll be working with data on Walmart stores, which is a chain of department stores in the US. The data set contains weekly sales in US dollars in various stores. Each store has an ID number and a specific store type. The sales are also separated by department ID. Along with weekly sales, there's information about whether it was a holiday week or not, the average temperature during the week in that location, the average fuel price in dollars per liter that week, and the national unemployment rate that week. Time to practice your summary statistics